Hey guys, thought I'd make a video of uh, things I've done to our 2018 Keystone Hideout 28BHS is the model. So we'll start up here in the front. Install these lights. Didn't come with any factory lights. This will blind you, but kind of crazy. This was all dark. The evening when you're putting stuff away. I put my hitch in there now, but uh, putting stuff away was black. So I got those lights from the dealer so they matched the interior lights and wired them in. Put these little levelers on there. One there. One there makes it a little nicer for. Uh, I can actually see that one in the mirror when I'm backing in, so I'll know when the trailer's fairly level, which is off level now on the floor, sloped. So put this little cover on the uh, power jack. Just keeps it out of the sun and uh, the elements, protects it a bit. And over here, same idea, put the light up in there. So you can see. And then uh, right here on the door, or below the door on the steps, a, uh, put this little, I don't know if I can lock that light out so you can see this. Put a piece of metal across there, it's like five or six inches, it goes from side to side on the steps. It takes the wobble out of the steps, it was made, you could tell it was made for it because the holes are pre-drilled where those bolts are. But I just got this, got this chunk of metal and uh, mounted on there to take the wobble out. Drill the holes in it and it works out good. Sorry, you probably can't see it too well, but I had the angle iron welded on the steps to accommodate the metal, but the metal wasn't there, so I did my own thing. So, so this takes the wobble out of the steps a bit, makes it a bit more solid. And then I installed the lights, courtesy lights, blue LEDs, and ran the wire up through inside into the wall for the switch. Okay, working my way back along to the outside kitchen. The uh, refrigerator, little little fridge for pop and stuff or whatever. It was when it plugged in, it was on all the time, and you had to break your fingers to get up in there to unplug it when you didn't want to have it on when it was, the trailer was plugged in to shore power. So what I did to fix this, remedy it, I got the switch switch receptacle at. Uh, Plug in at uh, Home Depot, I think it was. I just saw it there, I was like, that'll solve my problem. So I just wrote on on there, so it'd make it obvious switch so it was on, but you can hear it running anyways. So that way I just leave it off and I don't have to unplug it or anything when we get home or we don't want it running. Okay, next to it there, got the stove, outside stove, mounted this deadbolt. Sort of matches in the decor. Because when that wasn't there, this was free to flow around float around on the uh, highway and as you can see it was hitting the door and the door is down and it was doing a little bit of damage right there so I didn't really care for that obviously so I just put this deadbolt there and now it's it's locked I can't slide around on the highway moving along it's the stairs same thing on the back put the piece of the chunk of steel across painted it black bolted it on takes the wobble of the steps and put the uh, courtesy light LED, same as the front, on the same switch. This trailer's got the power uh, power jacks. They're not down right now. Around the back, I, uh, another video that I made. Uh, made a motorcycle, built a motorcycle rack. We got a little Yamaha scooter that I take camping with us. Just mounts on. Nothing's welded to the trailer, so I can take it all off. I won't get into that now. That's a separate video. But it works out good. We love taking it. It's a good system so far. And around the back cubby hole, same thing. I'm out of light. And again, no light in this cubby hole. So it was all dark at night when you're putting chairs away or whatever. So I put the light up there, put the switch, wired it in. And then on this box here, it holds the uh, power cable for the uh, shore power. I don't know, it would be 25 feet or 30 feet maybe. So you just push it in through the outside. It just feeds in my hand in through there. So it's 
rolls up, coils up inside this box. So this box from our, like in our other camper, sometimes the cable would get wrapped around itself, wouldn't come out very easily. So it'd be trouble. So what I've done, I've, I took this box out with just a couple screws around the floor, took, this, took the box out and uh, cut a hole through the side of it. Put the scale saw up. I'm out of this door so I can get access. Should it be required, if something tangles, I can go into panic, I can, I can fix it, remedy it. So that's that. Okay, and then on the roof, let's see if there, it goes nice little behind you. I mounted that uh, vent cover above the bathroom vent exhaust fan. So I can leave it open in the summertime, but uh, leave the vent open in the bathroom with the trailer vent out a little bit, air out a little bit, don't have to worry about rain and leaves and dirt going down inside on the screen. So I like that feature. I think it was 50 bucks, something on like Amazon, and it's black to match the rest of the trailer. Okay, so let's go inside. I can remember what I've done. Okay, starting here, I guess. Coat rack, or coat hooks. Didn't come with a coat rack, so I, I made this. I just locked out and found this uh, piece of uh, wood, if you can call it that, from the Home Depot. Just found them, I think they're drawer fronts or something, for uh, wire shelving. And it matched the decor of this, the inside of the trailer. Really, really good, so. I just bought these from the, somewhere, the hardware store. Put them on there. Because inside, show you this over here. The trailer came from the factory. This was the coat closet. So I don't know how many coats you think you're gonna wear. There was nowhere to uh, store the groceries. There's a little bit of store food. There's a little bit of cupboards above there. A little bit down below, but well, that's pretty much it. So I opted to eliminate the coat closet because I didn't think it was needed that many coats in the summertime. And I got this uh, silver colored uh, shelving from uh, Home Depot, I think it was again, or Lowe's or something, and put it in there so it matched the decor, the nickel silver color matched. And I got these lights from uh, Costco, they're in a pack of four. They got sensors, just magnet. So when the door closes over that sensor, the light goes off. And they're just uh, just a magnetic mount. And they just clip up there. So when the door closes, the lights go out. So I really like those little lights, they're pretty cool. I think it work, works out to be about five bucks each. Rechargeable. Okay, so this is the bedroom. This is what I've done in here. Mount up those accent lights. You can have them blue or you can have a reading light. I had a light up there, but this, those lights are horrible. They're right in your eyeballs. So there was too much effort to shut them off when you're falling asleep. So I went with this room, it looks a lot nicer. Cooler. So those lights are put one in there. Same idea. So when the door shuts, the lights go out. Totally rechargeable. Magnetic mount. So they work good. So oh yeah, the uh, same idea. Coat rack in here for my wife. Or clothing hooks, I guess. And one for me on this side. Exact same things outside. Same color. And then I got this uh, DVD, I think it's a 24 inch, 22 inch RCA TV with the uh, DVD player built in. Uh, and I got the, uh, the mount off of Amazon. Just make sure I hit a stud there, nice and solid. So it just goes back in and clips on. I don't know if I can do it with one hand or not, but yeah. So it clips on for the highway. So it works out beautiful there for that. It came with the hookups obviously, but no, nothing else for uh, mounting the TV or anything. So I just did my own thing. 
So that works out good. And I put this door lock on. Just came with plain uh, doorknobs, no privacy knobs. So I did that. And the bathroom was the same thing it came with, just, just a regular knob. So I put the locking knob on this one here. Makes it a lot nicer for everything. And uh, here I put the little LED accent strip light in the, on the movie shelf. And what else did I do? Yeah, here, so there's the bathroom fan with the uh, vent cover above. Well, it's all closed there now, but. And here is a shower head I bought off Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. That was three settings compared to the old style of just one on or off thing. It was horrible, but that's, I recommend that. It was really nice. It had five stars on Amazon, so. I got it and wasn't disappointed. I took the uh, the hose out of the, out of the halfway up because it was kind of restricting when you're trying to get a shower. So I don't know what the idea of that is. So I took the hose out, and uh, that's that. I didn't kill anybody down there. That's uh, the winterizing antifreeze. Just got to winterize. It's parked inside of our heated shop here now. But uh, if I needed to take the trailer outside, which I probably will later on in the winter store it and uh, it's all ready to go for the cold climates here in Canada oh yeah so I one thing is remember to put these this on there there's no provisions on the walls walls for anything so I'm not gonna match except my wife got for their paper holder and towel ring matching set same thing down here about those lights magnetic lights everywhere I can't get enough of them they're a beautiful thing. Okay. And I can't think of anything else I've done. Put that beautiful clock on the wall. It is 14.5 degrees centigrade, balmy. That's the inside. Okay. Thank you for watching. I think that's it. That's all I can think of right now that I've done. So, see you soon. Bye.